Welcome to GardenWise Adventure. My name is Malie and we've got to do a quick video today. It's almost 9 o'clock p.m. and it's starting to get dark, but I discovered something that made me want to do a video on growing maypops in Utah. I think I made a video and I might, you know, if I did, I'll, I'll link it above, of when I planted the seeds of my maypops. Now, maypops are the hardy version of passion fruit and Growing them in Utah, you know, I've tried many, many times, and I thought they were impossible to grow in Utah. But I found a gentleman who had been successfully growing them in my city, and he gave me some of this fruit, and we let it, I let it dry out completely, and read up on how to plant maypops, and it said to put the seeds in damp sand in the refrigerator for a couple of months. So I did that, and then was horrified when I brought it out and realized that most of the seeds had black mold on them but I decided to try and plant them anyway and got three plants out of it. And I threw the rest of them in an area outside that I'm gonna show you and the seeds never came up. Now let me show you actually what really did happen and the, an update on my maypop plants. So right here, mixed in a little bit with my service berry are my maypops. Now, as you can see, they've put on tremendous growth and they're growing faster and faster every day. Every single one of them is growing beautifully. And we're actually starting to get, I don't know if you can see it a little bit, something growing down in here. Now I'm not sure if May Pops will flower their first season, but from what I've heard, they'll start flowering around July and flower through September. It is now mid-July so I'm really excited to see what happens with these. Now let me show you my sadness. I didn't realize what I was doing. I've been very carefully pulling all the weeds around the base of these. And there was a whole bunch of weeds, what I thought were weeds, right in this area. And I pulled them all out, just assuming they were bindweed, because there was a lot of bindweed in this area before I planted these. But then look back here. These were the weeds that I was pulling out. This is where I planted all my little seeds. These are maypop seedlings. I pulled out probably 20 maypop seedlings without realizing it. Now, as I said, this is mid-July and I put those seedlings in that area. I just covered them up with dirt and watered them every once in a while. I did that last March. So that's a really long time for, to take seedlings to sprout. Now I looked it up to see what had happened and why it had taken so long. And maypop seedlings do take a long, long time to sprout. And it takes temperatures up at 95 degrees Fahrenheit or above. And we've been in the hundreds lately. So that's what sparked those seedlings to, to sprout. And the black mold on them obviously did not kill them. Now the one thing that we do have issues with, and I'm gonna to have to figure out how to deal with, or if it's gonna even be a problem now that the maypops have grown, is our late spring frosts. That's what's killed my maypops every single time, is I'll put them, you know, I'll purchase them online, put them in the ground as plants, and then if it gets you know, anywhere near freezing, they just die. So we're gonna see what happens next year. I know they do die to the ground. These are gonna be perennial. We don't have to start them by seed every year and they do die to the ground every year and are supposed to come up from their roots. So I'm gonna give them a little, you know, a good deal of mulch over the winter and hopefully we're going to see them next year. And I will keep you updated on if we start seeing flowers and fruit for this year. So it's been a week since I filmed this video and I wanted to show you something very exciting. This right here is a passion fruit bud. And I have them in several different areas. Let's see if I can find more. There's another one. There's another tiny one. Let's see if we can find some more. That I think is just new growth. There's some more new growth. So as you can see, we've got some flowers 
upcoming and some new growth. This is the third weekend. I think it's the 17th of July. So I'm really excited that I'm going to have flowers and I will do an update video as soon as it starts blooming. I don't know if it'll fruit this year, but I would love it if it did. So I'm really excited. Yes, you can grow Maypops in Utah. I challenge you to try it. And then let me know if you've had any success. You know, if you've grown them before, I would love to hear about it. So I'm really grateful that you came along with me on this short adventure. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you do like my videos, please like and subscribe and go have a wonderful garden adventure.